Watch KSTV weeknights at 7.30 and 11 Eastern and anytime with Inside On Demand on Channel 103. We're now joined via Skype by Josh Harrelson of the New York Knicks. Josh, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I'm doing good, thank you. Now, you've been sitting out for a little while. You've got an injured wrist. How's it feeling? How's the injury process coming, healing up? Uh, it's doing really well. I uh, started shooting the ball again. I shot uh, yesterday and today, uh, trying to get a little more motion back. I got about two more weeks uh, until I start playing again. So uh, hopefully it's, it heals fast. Good. Glad to, we were getting worried about you for a little while. You looked really skinny. Like they were, they were not letting you eat up there. Were they, Coach D'Antoni had you losing some weight. I mean, you look really thin out there. Nah, I still eat, but uh, I just I work hard, so uh, I just eat whatever I want. But I usually burn it off, and uh, I've lost about 10 pounds in the last couple of weeks. Um, but you know, I'm ready to get back and uh, hopefully lose that 10 pounds, and make me more more agile and more athletic. Now, part of your game that, of course, has been – they got you off to that fast start it was a three-point shot. John Calipari said earlier this week that he's given Anthony Davis the green light to shoot, shoot the three now. When you were at Kentucky, it was part of your game that was – and I wouldn't say a focus for you, but it was always there. It was a shot you could knock down. Did you ever have a similar conversation with Calipari that said, all right, Josh, we trust you. Go ahead and start firing that ball up. Uh, no, but like you said, though, I always had the shot, but um, playing with uh, Brandon Knight, Deron Lamb, Darius Miller, DeAndre Liggins, uh, you know, I didn't have to shoot three-pointers. Uh, those guys shot 30%, 40%, and uh, some of the best three-pointers in NCAA, or some of the best three-point shooters in NCAA. And uh, playing with those guys on my team, I didn't have to step out and shoot the ball. And uh, I was very fortunate to play with those guys. And, uh, you know, same thing for Anthony Davis. He's got a great team around him. And uh, Coach Cow giving that green light is just going to make his game elevate. Yeah, now Coach Cow, he opened up practice this week for fans and let them see that. And what you just mentioned, talking about getting guys to play together. And, you know, he has a team that's so talented. But they've all kind of stepped back, gotten better as individuals, but somehow maintain uh, kind of the team chemistry. What is it about Coach Cow that makes him a master of getting guys to play together like that? Uh, I just think everybody buys into a system. Uh, it's hard not to respect a guy like Coach Cow when you see, uh, you know, his track record, uh, his success rate, all the people he's put in the NBA. It's hard uh, for young guys not to come in and respect him, listen to him, buy into the system, and uh, let him lead the team. Because uh, a lot of places you go when you get uh, highly recruited guys, you know, it's usually all about them, all about making sure they're happy and they're playing well. Um, but when you when you go to Kentucky, you know, it's totally different. It's all about Coach Cal and making sure that um, that they buy into the system and they play for the name on the front. Yeah, and I think part of that is, of course, senior leadership. And last season when you guys are going to the Final Four, you took on a lot of that responsibility. You were a senior leader. This year, Darius Miller's there. Um, Eloy Vargas, the other senior. What have you, you know, you've known Darius for a while. What have you seen this season or just from, from your time knowing Darius his leadership ability, they have a senior leader, and what does Darius mean for that team? Uh, you know, Darius is probably the piece of the puzzle that's going to keep them together, especially in tournament time. Uh, you know, a, a lot of young guys right now, they, they don't know what it's like to play in the tournament. Uh, the tournament's a totally different atmosphere than regular season. It doesn't matter what your record is going into it. Uh, it's all about who has more heart and more will uh, when it comes down to the wire, and that's a team that's going to be successful and win. And uh, Darius Miller, he's been in it. Uh, this is this will be his third year now going to the tournament, and he knows what it takes to win. He's been a part of winning teams, and uh, he's definitely a missing piece. And, I mean, just watch them this year. You see him. He's making big plays when they need him. Uh, you, you know, if, if they need a run, he's one that starts. He knocks down a big shot or he gets a stop on the defensive end. And, uh, and that's something I've always known he can do, and I'm glad he's stepping up and playing well. Now, now, this time last season, the entire country was swept with jorts mania. It was all over the place on ESPN and Sports Illustrated. This year, it's all about Lynn Sanity with Jeremy Lynn, one of your teammates. What, what's it been like with kind of the craziness going on? Have you told him that, that this is New Jort City? This isn't Jeremy Lynn's town? Have you told him that yet? No, not yet, but I'm going to let him uh, sink or soak it all up right now. But... Uh, it's it's crazy. You know, I couldn't be more happy for a guy like him because, uh, you know, he's going to stay humble. He's going to stay true to himself. He's going to keep working just as hard as he, he has. And uh, for a guy like him to, to, you know, to go undrafted, to be on two different teams 
and uh, finally find a place in New York and come out and have breakout games and continue to do it game after game. Uh, it's crazy to sit there and watch, and I can't wait to finally get back and be a part of it. Now, one of my buddies from college shot a half-court shot at Madison Square Garden the other day for a chance to win $50,000. He missed it, but he got a chance to say hello to you, got an autographed jersey. Have you been impressed being in New York with how many Kentucky fans there are? I mean, it really is a big blue nation. Have you been surprised by how many U.K. fans you've seen up there? Uh, a little bit. Uh, like you said, it's big blue nation. Uh, everywhere I go, you know, there's always Kentucky fans no matter where. And uh, that's just something you kind of you kind of recognize when you play for Kentucky. And now that you're in the NBA and you still see them in every city you go to, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, it means a lot to have fans like that and still support me, even though I'm in the NBA now. All right, we got about a minute left. Real quick, are you are you feeling good about the Cats this year? Are you willing to guarantee a national championship? Uh, I mean, it's hard to guarantee something like that. Um, but do I think they have one of the best chances to win it? I think they do. And, you know, they got the best coach going into the tournament. And, uh, you know, he's going to do whatever it takes to make them win. And all they need is all, you know, all, all the guys together, playing together, playing hard, playing smart. And uh, at the end of the day, they're going to have the championship if everybody comes out and plays together and for the name on the front and on the back. All right, Josh Harrelson, thank you very much for taking time for us. Best of luck with your recovery with your wrist injury, and uh, hopefully we can check in soon with you. Thank you very much. All right.